What's going on guys, Zach at Crazy Muscle Nutrition here with Trey again. We are going to do our second Oliver Anthony video. This one is on, I believe it's called I Want to Go Home. So um, we got a lot of good feedback on the first one. We love Oliver Anthony here at the studio, so we're excited to do the second one and do a breakdown for you guys. So without further ado, we're going to go right into it. And I'm going to twist this tad here. Oh, I haven't heard this one. But... No, I haven't either. If it won't for my old dogs and good lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych. Nice. Nice. Love that. Well, while we have an ad roll, we can at least talk about board. the fact that his voice is so refreshing every time. It's so nice to, to hear him sing. Like, he's got such a deep country voice. It's yeah. just like, makes you want to go find a creek, learn how to fly fish, and cry about... A situation you haven't actually been through. In private. In private, yes, yeah. Every day living in this new world. One, two, many days to me. Son, we're on the brink of the next world war, and I don't think nobody's praying no more, and I think saying I know. Yeah, holy a lot. crap! Oh my gosh! Okay, and how, when was this made? Because I, I think this was probably made before the whole Israel stuff has even happened. Yeah, and we were already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was already some tension stuff going on with uh, Ukraine. I think this is when this probably came out. It's not that old. Yeah. Um. So, first he said, "Every day living feels like he like it was like a million hundred. What did he say? A hundred days?" I think he said. A day or two too long or something. Yeah, basically just describing how everyone feels. Like, we were just talking about this. Like, we're all living, like, five different people's lives. Like, if this was 30 years ago, with no well, phones and no contact like this, we wouldn't have been able to do what we're doing no. um, 30 years ago. Shoot, I guess I should say, like, 40 years ago now. But, yeah. So, when you compare, like, what the human is built for and what we are dealing with, people don't always take that into account. Like, yeah, we're doing a lot. We're putting yeah. our brain through things that have, like... Well, we, we are a transitional to, generation. You into, have to to stay up and stay adapted. Yeah. You have to be adaptable to survive. Exactly. We have a lot of things that are easy nowadays that come, you know, we have a lot of technology and things that make life. We have a Roomba, just cleaned our, our podcast studio before we did easier, this. It makes easier, but yeah. also harder. It's it does. weird. Yeah, because you and I are focused on making podcasts and content and videos and work and, and making sure our families are taken care of, making sure our mental health is good, trying to find relationships. We got dogs, we got animals, we got brand new dogs. We got brand new dogs. Shout out Trey got a brand new dog camp. But um but man, it's funny how he can say so much with one line. Literally one lyric. I think that's the most impressive. Everybody. Yeah. I mean it's like when you sit there and you're frustrated and you're like, I just want to get this off my chest, like but then you try to put it into words and you can't. And man's just Just did it. Just did it. And it's I, this, I, the sound I, of his voice is just killing. I respect it exactly. Yeah. Do it. I feel and, it, but I can't say it. And the going to war thing, I mean, we're all feeling like this tension, like we're all struggling with our internal struggles every day. It feels so hard, and then what, we're supposed to focus on war that might possibly be coming. So, um, you know, it just, it's like it, it has all that power with the first line, and then second line, boom, might be going to war on top of everything else. And, like, it's already a war at home in each of our, you know, own personal lives. And so, and end, damn, so this guy is The guy's awesome. down, like, praying on his knees to pray. Yeah, and he and said no like, one's praying anymore. That's not, yeah. And I'm not even religious, but... I'm damn near about to be. I fucking, honestly, these days, like, I have never believed in God more in my life. Yeah. Honestly. And, As I get older, uh, it, like, grows. It, it seems to me... More stuff happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to get... You see things in the universe that kind of, like, show you proof that there is intelligence that is behind yeah. pulling puppet strings of everything. Well, I've been giving the universe so much credit. It's almost like, well, maybe, maybe there is a god, or, or there, you know, the one god everyone mentions. But either way, yeah, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. No. Well, <laughs> either way, the the um the moral value and the ethical value of the positives of the way Christianity impacts our country, yeah. not the negatives and all the bullshit, but yeah, all yeah. the positives and the and the moral values and the you know treat thy neighbor as a friend and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, it's super important to keeping a a, a population. Yeah, you I feel know, like we're losing it. And a positive sense of control, and, you know, we're losing that. And yeah. now we're facing anarchy, but it's only getting blown up by social media and by, by things like... And fake news. Yeah, all that. Okay, I think that was pretty much everything we covered. Can you go back a couple seconds, and then... Uh, 
Yeah, that's like the Ooh. first minute of the song. Not even. Me home. I want to go home. I don't know which road to go. Been so long. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way. Cussing myself every damn day. Can you pause it again? There's always some kind of bill. Oh my god. Holy facts. Damn. Describe everyone's life. I in know. Three lyrics. Bro, I used to chase like an old version of myself for so long. I was like, I'm not okay unless I like become him. The 15 year old version of myself that like wasn't scared, didn't know what anxiety was. Like, just seemed to ignore everything that was traumatizing around me for some reason it didn't impact me until later and like I chased that version of myself for so long until I was like okay I just need to learn how to adapt and become a new better version and he's over here talking about how well that exact thing like I didn't used to wake up like this you know and now still do at times yeah oh for sure oh, and for the sure. whole always a damn bill to pay dude every day I feel like I get an email dude every it, day it's it's, tough. it's it's like everything. Now you can't even... You know what's crazy? My, like, betting stuff, the websites we used to use to research, are now, like, you have to pay monthly. Like, everything is... Everyone, everyone's getting nickel and dime. It's not like they can't just run ads on that website and make their money there, or yeah. they can't do... Like, there's ways of... Like, I respect it. Obviously, good for them. Yeah. But, like, holy sh... Everything is I, paid for. I'm like, how am I supposed... And I'm, you know, with this store, it's just, like, one thing after another. Yeah. Everything I want to do has to have somebody else to pay for it in order to make it happen. Even... And, dude, like, my mom, like, I mean, we grind shit out. We don't pay everyone to do the jobs for us. We do as much as we possibly can, and we learn new stuff. I mean, I've never learned so much since opening the store. And, like, yeah, it's yeah. just... Like, looking at my taxes... It's tough. Because I just did them recently. I got an extension. Everybody calm down. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> but, like, a little late. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Me too. But, like, looking at, like, my W-2s and everything, I was like, dude, I get taxed, and then my taxes get taxed, and then that gets taxed. Yeah. All that shit's going to another country that we don't give a shit about. Nope. The vehicle you drive is taxed. You're paying oh my for God, roads, you're paying for gas taxes, you're paying for food taxes. The price to live is just going up, but the like reward we're getting is the same. Yeah, our, yeah. Our like, how the fuck? I know. And increasing the value, the increasing our pay is not what changes anything no. at this point. Because we all know we don't. There's no reason we should be making twenty dollars an hour. No. Because ten years ago we didn't need that much no. to survive. Exactly. So what's going on with the supply chain, right? And there's a lot of things being hidden. Damn. Okay. Well. Okay. Wow. Homie knows what he's doing. Yeah. People just doing what the rich man say. I wanna go home. Where is home anymore? There's nowhere to run to. That's what I'm saying. Everyone feels like this. Yeah. Like, there's no home. Like anymore. we're not from here because this doesn't make sense. No. Like and that's both sides. That's the sad part. Is everyone feels that way because the rich men north of Richmond are the ones that are manipulating us. Sorry, that was. Dude, it. I could talk about this shit. Yeah, he was just kind of doing a little, a little something, so, so I could talk. Yeah, <laughs> you're good. You can hit play. <laughs> He's got his dog. Classic. Four generations farming the ground. And some sales to a man out of town. And two weeks later, all the trees go down. Only got concrete growing around. I wanna go home. Damn, bro. The families, man. You can pause it. All those generations of family, like, all that work, all that passion, like, the reason people were alive and lived, like, insanely and incredibly wholesome lives has just yeah. been... Well, the, those people are the people that built America, and they're the reason that the America dream is still a thing. Even though it doesn't feel like it, it's still a thing. Yeah. But it sucks because... We're literally watching it get torn apart yeah. while we grew up chasing that dream. Yeah, yeah. And it's getting torn apart in front of our eyes. We're obliterating we our base. Placing it with concrete and... Yeah. Damn, that's tough. All right. I don't know which road to go. Spending so long. I Probably just can. know I did. Bro, I used us. to trust, like, my heart... My guts or my brain. I had three fucking things I could count on. One of them was going to guide me. Mm. Nowadays, I feel like all of them have failed me 
in so many ways, in ways that I couldn't have expected, that it's like, I always am caught up in like, don't know which road to go. Like, he's said that a few times now, and honestly, I think we all wake up and we're like, I could do this, I could do that, I could do this, I could do that. There's so many things coming out, it's our brains being filled with ideas, but like, none of them have any substance, so we're just caught at a crossroads, just like, yeah. spinning in a circle. That's, That's kind of where the nausea comes in. I think a lot of us walk around a little nauseous, because we're just like, yeah. don't know what to do so and it's like super stressful yeah if you feel that way you're not alone obviously so that's how i felt getting out of the military yeah. i went from like being important to like just being in that normal dude doing i felt like i was doing nothing with my life yeah. so i forced myself to grow up super fast well, i was already growing mm -hmm. but i kind of forced myself to like move here right away had with no plan just packed up and left made it work i know now i got a dog i know finally i've been wanting a dog for, like, i love I that like, you skip right to the dog not to the getting the jobs wait it's just crazy like wait you skip into the dog but like everything i've accomplished from moving here to where i'm at now it's like a lot and i should be like proud of myself but i'm not yeah because i always feel like i need to like i'm not there like i'm still struggling financially obviously yeah like, I'm still, not obviously. Like, <laughs> we all are. Everyone, everyone I mean, is. Yeah, yeah, obviously because you're human, you know, these days. Exactly. That's how it goes. Literally. Yeah. And it's just, like, crazy to think how it's gotten there. I know. But, yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing, too, is, like, in these days we're trained to have, you know, things to make us feel better quick. So you're constantly fighting the battle of, you know, we, we smoke nicotine, you know, we drink yeah. caffeine, we, yeah, we so do a lot nice. of things. Yeah, we have things that we love, and, like, we love, and there's nothing wrong with them, but when you are constantly trying to heal something that can't be... Like, these are Band-Aid solutions at the end of the day when you Absolutely. use them that way. Yeah, and when you think about it, they're all regulated. Like, they're all things that we only know because of the system that's yeah. in place. And we know that, but we still do it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because it's literally exactly. same thing. Same thing with, like, gasoline mm -hmm. and, like, electric vehicles and stuff. That's why it's, like, that's so the technology difficult we're given to play with. switch yeah. where it's like, hey, we have this technology, but we already have billions of cars that take gasoline. Yeah. So it's like... We need to be looking for solutions towards, like, m like finding more gas out in space and stuff, like yeah. Musk wants to do. Yeah. And, like... Big Elon. Yeah. yeah. Well, and even at this small... Because like, there are solutions. Yeah. There's, there's always a solution. To at its smallest problem. point, too, you see Apple is always, obviously, obviously, withholding technology. Every year... Oh, yeah. They withhold, they give us a little taste, and then they switch their fucking cord, and then they run a couple years like that, they give us some more well, time. they got 90% of the earth on, on lock. Like, they can do, they know they can do it. There's so want. much more, yeah. And now, instead, they're going to use that to create, like, little fucking incubation hospitals so you don't even have to have your baby. I'm like, alright, what they, the fuck? Once, yeah. once they can, they're probably going to have, like, wireless charging that is part of your phone service that you pay for. Yeah, like it's getting like ridiculous. where you don't have to plug it in, but like you're paying for that charge. That makes sense. Well, there's a lot of conspiracies we can talk about oh, that are about dude. to come. We can do a whole podcast. Yeah, right? I like the points you made. Let's keep it pushing. Now. Can you go back a couple seconds? Sorry, Oliver. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Oliver, yeah, for letting us for giving you. us these conversation topics, right, and start sparking these conversations. Making people remember. Yeah, and, and like think. And you're not alone. That's the yeah. biggest point of all of this. Is like that's why we're talking about it. You're not crazy. None of us are. I know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way, cursing myself every damn day. Personal People angst. People have yeah. really gone and lost their way. They all just do what the TV say. I don't wanna go home. You don't even watch the news, yeah? Fuck no, I do not. I don't watch the news. I stay up there. Yeah. I'm not watching that shit. shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Facts? Yeah. I think you got a dog, too. No. Damn, dude. If it wasn't for my dog, bro, I would be fucking so lost. So. Thank you. And I thought a few times I was like, I was going to go crazy and like, I've even like told my mom, like, dude, shit's about to get rough and like, man, it's cool that you brought that up. Man, that's tough. 
I'm glad you got a dog. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I'm glad Thank you got God. a dog. I'm glad that Oliver Anthony is doing this. Man, I'm looking forward to doing another one of these song uh, reviews. I feel like every time we do this. He's yeah. been doing a lot of like, uh, like oh, hometown um, concerts and stuff. There's no reason not to go through the whole album. Yeah, yeah. there's really not. Yeah, um, This deserves to be talked about. The whole personal angst thing is huge now, too. Yeah. So it ties in with mental health. Yeah, can we talk about that? Um, so when it comes to personal angst, I think, I mean, I don't, we don't talk about that much, Braden, but I'm sure you deal with it too, right? Oh, like everyone yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. The, the, like the expecting to be where you're not, you know, and having to justify that by saying this is exactly where I'm supposed to be every fucking day. And like, you know, I, I, I work on that by saying, you know, I can only handle the things that I'm built for. And so exactly what I'm getting is exactly what I'm made for. And I yeah. can't handle any more and I can't handle any less is exactly what I'm made to handle. That makes me feel better. That and helps. Yeah. Also not fucking being so mean to myself in my head. Like, you just gotta fucking stop. That's so hard, It's dude. so hard, bro. And like, I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Yeah, I know you struggle with that. And, like, a lot of that comes from, like, saying it out loud. Like, I beat myself up over my body all the time, obviously, because I have that issue. But, like, um, overall, like, in my head, when I catch myself, like, cussing myself out, like, I used to just wake up and fu- literally just 24, like, <laughs> how many hours are there that I was awake, you know? And I didn't want to sleep because I was scared to sleep. Mm-hmm. And I was mad at myself because, like, I wouldn't sleep because I was scared of my dreams. And, like... You just get yeah, angry at yourself. It's a dude. snowball. And you that's when you just got to open your perspective up, take a step back and, and see that the world is really big. There's a lot of really good things happening. And if you can focus on that and realize that like it's a sliver that's also part of a bad sliver, that's part of a, a spectrum of your life that you could focus on, but your vision is really closed off to one thing right here, which is that negative yeah. inner speak. And so breathing through that. Yeah, you really have to like, kind of stop and just talk to yourself yeah realize it's it's bad yeah it's it's, it's not something you should do and it's something that you like it's like if i beat myself up no one else can beat me up more no one no one's ever said anything to me that's meaner than what i've said to myself oh absolutely has any anyone in the military ever said something to you that you haven't said to yourself twice as negatively They've said some wild shit, but, but no. <laughs> but no, right? Yeah, they've and I know they've, they've came close. I, I bet. I bet They're they the have. closest that anyone will ever get, though. <laughs> right. No one will ever say anything to me that I haven't said myself. Exactly, yeah. And the fact that people can only come close, and that's... In the the fact they came close is kind of <laughs> exactly. impressive. It is. They, exactly. they were creative. Yeah. <laughs> in case you guys were wondering, I should have been aborted <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> <Cody>. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> oh, dude. I've actually had that one too, though. So see, they can't top it. They can barely match it. That's yeah. one sliver. Dude, yeah. yeah. They said some, some Dude, wild shit. Shout out to my mom jumping off the table. <laughs> literally. Did you know that? No. Dude, my mom was literally in the abortion clinic and a, jumped off the table. Wow. Like, she was up there ready to go. And she was like, fuck you, you're gonna... Like, just tweaked. She said she tweaked, cussed him out, it's shoved everyone like, out of her way and sprinted out of the hospital. I feel like that that's definitely happened more than just her. Like, they definitely deal with that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. You hit, like, that was pretty intense, though. That is intense. <laughs> that realization, though. Yeah, yeah, that, like, you know. This That's is... happened to me at hospitals, where I just flip a switch and freak out. And I told you about that, yeah. No. But I'm glad you did, because now you guys get to watch this crazy podcast. Well, crazy podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but, regardless, the negative inner speak, that is probably, like, the number one thing that you have control over that will make a difference in your day-to-day life. Yeah. I think overall my favorite thing about his music is he focuses on the negatives. That way we he like makes it easy to focus on the negatives without being overwhelmed with it. He's like a reminder of like, mm. yeah, this is all the bad going on, sung in like such a beautiful way. Mm. And then kind of compare that to what you said, mm. focus on the positives. Well, he's putting it into words but also for us. Like, like remember that that is going on. Mm. Like don't ever don't ever like take everything for granted. Yeah, because like the world we live in right now, that seems like it's so bad, is so good compared think, to yeah. everything else. Yeah, gratitude. Exactly. Good point. So it's important to have both. Mm-hmm. Like, get pissed off, get upset at what's going on, but don't let it control your. Day. Remember what you really love. It's going home. Exactly. You know, and, and being safe there, and everyone trying to find that. You know, it's so important. There's so many things you can take from his music. Yeah, that's wow. the best part. Yeah, that was great. We could go on and on, but oh, I think yeah. we'll just cut there and just and just today. be grateful. Yeah, right. Just yeah. Be grateful for Oliver Anthony and for all of you guys that are out there fighting back. Um, you know, that's exactly what we're all about fighting here. Fighting a good so. fight. Fighting a good fight. Yep. Yeah, for real. So, all right. Crazy Muscle Studios out. Like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear your 
um, you know, thoughts and stuff, okay. too. The last video, we loved reading people's comments, so feel free to just get it out in the comment section, you know. Yeah, let it out. Yeah, it also helps the video get up and um, boost it so people, more people can see it, so. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. If you guys are interested, you can also check out the website at shopkman.com, and you can find us on Instagram and TikTok, too. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.